Hi, this is Chris from Orange Coast College's art department with a quick introduction to digital painting for those of you who are not very familiar with it. Digital painting in terms of being used in OCC's art department is a combination of using software such as Adobe's Photoshop painting tools and input using a stylus and tablet like we have in our digital studio using 24 inch Cintiqs hooked up to Apple iMacs. The great part of digital painting is that it builds on everyone's skills in traditional media and introduces hundreds of new options that allow artists to visualize anything they can imagine. On top of that, you get the ease of editing that computers bring to everything. You can think of digital painting broadly from three different angles. Primarily, it is the art of making marks, much like any other traditional media. This is what separates digital painting from other digital media. Secondly, you have the option, if desired, to add photorealistic elements or textures through compositing. And lastly, you can make adjustments to what you are creating globally or to small selected parts throughout the whole process. Let's start by looking at the primary core aspect of digital painting, the painting part. It's the same idea as traditional media painting. You start with a new digital canvas on your tablet and your stylus. You select your color and then just start making marks. Maybe you want to start by making a drawing first and then coloring it in. That's okay. Or maybe you just want to build up your color by painting softly and that's okay too. Or maybe you want to start with a dark canvas and start painting the light. The beauty of digital painting is that you can take any approach you want. They all work equally well. Another aspect of some traditional media is working in layers, building from a base to a top layer. Digital painting takes that idea and really expands upon using layers to do all kinds of things that you could possibly imagine. One of the best benefits of this is that layers allow you to get into the middle of your painting and start making edits without affecting everything else around it. You want to think about layers much like a stack of clear film or acetate that has marks on it or some other attribute. Your layers stack in the layers panel will allow you to organize your layers and make changes to them. This is the most important panel in Photoshop after your tools panel. I should note that some digital painters use Photoshop to emulate traditional media. However, I recommend that you use digital painting for what it does best. And I think the thing it does better than any other media is depict light sources and atmospheric light. Since the true form of digital painting is light, it really excels beyond any other media representing light. The next major area of digital painting to explore is photo compositing. Not always, but sometimes you may want to incorporate some real-world texture or objects for just the right touch of authenticity. This example is from an exercise practicing compositing real-world textures. Here it might be a bit too much altogether, but used with discretion it can add just the right texture when painting it alone might be very time-intensive. Lastly, throughout the process, but especially at the end, you can make global adjustments to your whole painting or just a few elements. Maybe it's too dark and it needs to lighten up or have more contrast around the focal point. Or maybe the reds need to be brighter or maybe the background should be a little out of focus. All of these things are trivially easy to accomplish using the tools in Photoshop. I hope this helped provide a glimpse into digital painting. However, the only way to really understand digital painting is to pick up a stylus and do it. One final thing to remember is that digital painting is perhaps the most low-risk media you can work in. Once you have the tools, it doesn't cost you anything to create. If you make a mistake, then undo it. If things look wrong, change it. Or just start a new one. It is really extremely forgiving, so go ahead and get started.